So can you merge column headers on a pivot table? Well, you can if you follow the technique in this video. One of the things I don't really like about multiple uh, column field pivot tables, like the one I've got on screen at the moment, is the way in which the titles show. Even if you go to reformat these, uh, so if we just wrap this text, for example, and even though I've got all my settings up, I'm not going to auto fit columns, I'm looking to preserve cell formatting. When I refresh, I lo it loses the format. The other thing that doesn't seem to work either is on the design tab. If you go to repeat all item labels, for example, it doesn't do anything. Whereas if, if I go back to the field list a second and I just swap those two, over, sorry, you can see this is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to repeat everything so you can see it all on every line. So if I just wrap that again, she's supposed to get something that looks like that, but the moment you flip it over, it doesn't repeat this. So there's, there's something not very right about the whole format thing. You can get around all of this any of this kind of issues anyway and one of the ways to do it is to create new field headings up at the top that are a merger of the existing ones so you could just use literally just type your own names in if you really want to but if you want to be a bit more clever about it what i tend to do is recreate all of this all of these settings and then underneath. So you want at least uh, three blank rows. So above a pivot table, you normally have two blank rows anyway, because it's reserved for a filter coming in. So you want three above that. So you're looking at about five above the pivot table for a two row header. So first formula is, I'm just gonna use an if formula to detect if there's something there or not. And if there isn't, I'm gonna pick up the cell to the left. So I'm going to put, if that is blank, pick up the one to the left. Otherwise, pick up the cell heading. Right. So that is going to give me all the way across my sum of sales, sum of sales, sum of sales, sum of profit, sum of profit, sum of profit, etc. Right. And then I use the exact same formula below that as well. And then I'm going to create some kind of merger of these two. So the actual heading I want. If I'm just going to wrap the text on this. So I want my actual heading to be delivery truck sales. And then for this one, delivery truck profit. So let's do, actually, let's do this in several steps here. So I'm just going to insert a few rows. So first off, we want to know the length of that sentence. Uh, sorry, um, so that's 12. 12 characters long, and we know that some space of space is going to be seven characters. So if we do that minus seven, and it always will be seven. So we now know that we want the rightmost five characters of that, and that will give us sales. So it's a bit convoluted, but for example, if we now say we want that, and we want a space, and we want the right of that cell that many color. If I wrap that, you'll see it now says delivery truck sales. I can pull that across and we've got all our various things. Now that's all well and good, but then we still have this business going on here. So we want to take the format of that and put it onto that row. So yeah, we're going to write, write align all of that. And then we should simply be able to hide those rows there. So I'm going to use a shortcut keys to group that. And then we're going to uh, hide this group like that. And of course, if we now hide this above, hold on, we need to where we've got some kind of difference between that and that. 
not quite sure why. Let's just have a look. Yeah, that's more like it. Right, and we can also hide that. So now we have our single header on each column and that will withstand any kind of refresh that we want to do as well. So this is looking much more like a kind of normal report. And if we do, for example, for error values show a zero and empty cells show zero, that straight away is looking like almost nothing like a pivot table, I'd like to say. So don't forget you can download the spreadsheet by clicking on the link in the description. You can work for all of this or just have ready-made examples. Make sure you check out the other videos on Up for Excel. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon as well to get notified of the next videos coming out and I'll see you soon.